The Wayne Hills Patriots finished last year 13 and 10, second in the Big North Independence Division. With a new year brings new change, but from the past. As head coach Brian Basil, who's been out the last five years raising his daughter, comes back to take over the squad. He's excited by the up numbers and experience in the room, but realizes there's only one mantra, one day at a time. Um, very happy with these guys. Our numbers are phenomenal. Uh, I don't think many teams can say that we have over 40 wrestlers right now. Um, it's at the point where me and my assistants have to split practice. Um, so even though there's a lot of work to be done, um, I am a strong believer in just getting better every day, and I think the future is bright for these guys. Um, with that being said, we do have a core group of kids that are returning um, with some over 500 records, um, and I expect to see them making some noise. You know, that's the goal. It always is. Um, win or lose, I hope uh, they leave everything out there, and that's what we're training for. For senior John Cease, who finished last year at 22 and 10, he knows the goals of the squad this year and is excited to get a chance to finish up his career at Wayne Hills. This year, we plan on going over 500, making a state sectionals again. We have a bunch of new wrestlers, a bunch of new kids, over 40 kids this year. We just plan on doing a good job this year. This is a good Wayne Hills team. There's no one that stands out that wows you, but they're a nice white-collar, lunch-pail team who's going to grind and get a lot of wins. I think they're going to be successful this year, and I could see them qualifying for the state sectional tournament, as well as finishing slightly above 500. As far as the Independence Division in the Big North, I look for them to finish fourth. For GardenStateHSWrestling.com, Donald J. Brower reporting.